Hello everyone, this is Tim Pei Lu. For ICRA 2021, we present SuperDeep, a surgical perception framework for robotic tissue manipulation using deep learning for feature extraction. Minimally invasive robotics improves patient outcomes through increased precision on tissue manipulation. For surgical robots, accurate perception of the environment and the robot agents is essential for achieving this kind of automation task. A surgical perception framework simultaneously track the deforming environment and surgical tools. Previous work on perception framework requires significant efforts in developing features for tool tracking and tissue tracking. For example, the painted markers. In this work, we overcome the challenge by exploring deep learning methods for surgical perception. We integrate deep neural networks capable of efficient feature extraction into tissue tracking and tool tracking process. SuperDeep is a perception framework using deep learning for feature extraction. Our surgical perception framework consists of a deformable tissue tracker and a surgical tool tracker to perceive the entire surgical scene including the deforming environments and the surgical tool. Two deep neural networks are embedded into our framework for specific feature extractions. The first deep neural network finds and matches features from stereo images to generate the disparity map for tissue checking. The second deep neural network extracts point feature for surgical tool checking. The framework was tested on the Da Vinci surgical system for experiments and comprehensive analysis. To reconstruct and track the deformable tissue, we first use a neural network for stereo matching. The output disparity map are then converted into a depth map through triangulation. Then a fusion-based tissue tracker is used to fuse the depth maps to a global tissue model and estimate the deformation. Since the deformable tissue tracking relies heavily on the quality of the depth estimation, we study the performance of several stereo reconstruction algorithms by integrating them into our tissue tracking pipeline. We conduct the comparative study with six, with six stereo matching algorithms, including three traditional algorithms and three deep neural networks. To utilize the best, we choose the guided aggregation network for stereo reconstruction. The neural network was trained on the same floor data set and the KT data set to run the feature extraction and feature matching for a pair of stereo images. Without fine tuning on the surgical data set, the neural network was able to output consistent disparity map on surgical scene. After getting a depth map, the deformable tissue tracking is achieved by a point-based fusion algorithm. The tissue model is formed from the point cloud observation, and the fusion algorithm updates the tissue model by fusing an estimate depth map using a previously developed model-free tissue tracker. The tissue model is initialized by the first depth observation. Tra tracking the dense point cloud requires a, a lot of computational power. To efficiently update the tissue model and estimate the deformation, the entire surface point cloud was driven by the embedded deform graph, which is a graph of less dense node sampled from the point cloud. Given a new depth observation, the tissue tracker estimates the deformation by minimizing the loss function which includes data association costs, the originis costs, and the feature correspondence costs. We show that our tissue tracker is able to reconstruct the realistic scene in 3D.
The tool checking is to estimate, estimate the 3D tool pose in the camera frame. The pose of the surgical tool is estimated using a model-based tracker. They utilize the robo kinematics pair and fusing the encoder reading with the 2D key points from the image frames. For accurate tool tracking, we define six distinct point features on each surgical tool. The measure their 3D position on a robo kinematics chain. To localize surgical tool in image frames, we utilize the convolutional neural network from Deep Lab Card for markerless point feature detection. By leveraging a transfer learning, the detector can achieve promising performance with less than 100 training samples. The 3D tool pose in camera frame can be calculated through the verbal kinematics of the, of the surgical robot and the hand eye transformation. And the key point on the surgical tool can be projected into the image frame using a camera projection model. For a specific key point feature, the projection model is defined as the equation below. To accurately estimate the 3D tool pose, we optimize the hand dye transformation by minimizing the distance between the projected key points and the detected key points. The hand dye transformation is continuously corrected by a lambda error term, which is the transformation matrix parameterized by an angle axis vector and the translational vector. The tool tracking problem is then reduced to estimate the lambda error for hand dye transformation and the particle filter is applied to check the lambda error. We initialize the lambda error with the normal distribution centered at zeros. To estimate the lambda error at time t plus one given time t, the Jerome-Mean Gaussian noise is assumed to model uncertainty. Given a detected key point location and the confidence score, the observation, the observation model is defined to weight the particle according to a distance between the projected key point and the detected key point. We visualize the tool tracking performance by drawing a skeleton of the estimated tool pose in image frame. In order to separate the tools from the deformable tissue model, a mask of the surgical tool is generated by rendering the 3D CAD model into an endoscopic camera view and is removed from a depth feed to the deformable tissue tracker. Finally, we'll combine the tissue tracking and the surgical tool tracking to form a complete perception framework. We test it on the tissue manipulation data set to reconstruct the entire surgical scene. Thanks for watching.